Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today is a highly requested video because when I unbox this particular item, this purchase of mine on Insta Stories, my DM blew up, okay? All of you wanted me to swatch it, find dupes of it, so I just thought let me just make this video. I'm talking about Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Lipsticks. They are my ultimate favorite. I've spoken about this. When Lisa introduced these lipsticks to the world, I definitely was there standing in line, okay, in an online line, uh, trying to buy this. It's such a beautiful collector's item. There is no other lipstick that looks like Lisa Eldridge's lipstick. The lipsticks are very, very different. First of all, the pigmentation on this is incredible. Her lip colors, the way that she explains the undertones of her lipsticks, I haven't seen any other brand pay that much attention. And it's a very limited, quantity that she makes and once it goes out of stock you have to wait literally for six to seven to eight months to get you know for it to restock again okay so that's how limited it is so i'm going to swatch quickly very quickly i'm going to take you through some of the old launches that i have old lipsticks that i have and her latest launch i'm starting off with the latest so that you'll get an idea in case you are of my skin shade and you want to try out lisa eldridge's lipstick she ships worldwide so probably this video would be of help uh, before I dive in I would say that if there's one thing that you need to pick up from the Lisa Eldridge range she's got lip liners lip glosses uh, you know those satin finish lipsticks the velvet mattes I would say stick to the velvet mattes because that is completely worth the money now when it comes to her uh, saturated lipsticks I'm talking about that satin finish there are plenty of other lipsticks out in the market that would give you that same shine sheen pigmentation like the Lisa Eldridge one it's beautiful no doubt but it's not a must-have and the same goes for the gloss which I'm wearing right now it does give you that shine very very uh, buttery soft non-sticky that's what I love about it it's almost like a lip balm so even when you wear it by itself it's going to like hydrate your lips so if you like a hybrid lip gloss that works like a lip balm as well as a gloss that has got a tint to it then you can definitely purchase this but when it comes to that wet shine appeal that I love in a lip gloss this kind of lacks that and I find that in Pat McGrath as well as uh, Fenty Beauty now this time along with the velvet uh, lipstick launch she also launched her sample cards where foundation is concerned guys I tried the foundation and it is mind-blowing for somebody who suffers from textured skin acne scars pitted scars this sits very beautifully and almost gives like a soft focus filter uh, a finish you know after about 15 minutes to half an hour of uh, application which is something I've not seen in other foundations now when it comes to her seamless foundation that's what she has called it when you buy her lipsticks you can get a sample card second of all this is something that you will get for free when you purchase her lipsticks now each sample card that you see right here this is the medium set one you get four shades with different undertones to it so you can wear each day you can wear one one foundation and see exactly what matches to your skin color and skin tone i think this is completely stellar and i don't understand why no other brand has ever thought of this i think this is so genius so i'm going to start off with the newest shade that i have never had which i bought recently to the oldest one that i have already swatched on youtube so that in case you want to buy it in the future and if you are my skin tone then probably you know this would be very helpful okay so the first one that I'm starting off with is velvet affair this is described as a beautiful warm tone caramel brown color and what I'm most intrigued about as usual is that velvet fabric looking caramel brown situation that is happening around the lipstick of course it's not velvet but the texture of it definitely looks like it so Caramel browns definitely suit all skin tones. Even if you've got deep, rich skin tone, you can definitely make this work with the right lip color. That is a stunning, stunning nude shade. Something that I would apply every day. It's like, it would be my go-to nude lip color, everyday use. This beautiful deep pink berry was part of her last year's collection and this one is called Velvet Blush. Again, it's a shade that is going to suit all skin tones. This is that one deep, pink berry shade that you can take forward from morning all the way till evening because it's got that muted cool undertone to it and this is a stunning stunning shade so from the newest launch this is velvet blush lightly as the name suggests this is a softer less intense version of the best-selling velvet blush 
After her last bestseller, a lot of people did write to her saying that they wanted a wearable medium muted berry tone. This is perfect for fair all the way to a tan complexion. If you have got a deeper skin tone than this, then you can wear a lip liner with it. But for the rich deep skin tones, if you want a nice muted pink shade, then you can definitely go for the velvet blush. Lisa describes Velvet Cinnabar as the deepest, richest, most powerful, burnt, ochre, warm, brown, red imaginable. It has been inspired by the dense, poisonous red mineral which has been used as a precious resource around the world since the 10th millennium. Now, if you're not somebody who's into, you know, blue base red or pink base red or red in general, you know, those really bright red lipsticks, which I absolutely love, and you want something that's a little more muted and wearable, then this probably would just, you know, call out your name. It's so beautiful and it can look so different on various skin tones and lip tones, basically. You can wear it in the morning because of that warm, burnt okra, you know, that brown undertones that come screaming and peeping through this red shade. It is so unique and definitely a must have. Now, very quickly, I'm gonna show you the old lipsticks that I have from the first ever launch. And the first one is Velvet Ribbon. This is extremely beautiful and you might have a lot of blue red lipsticks that are out in the market. Why this is different is because of that saturated color and that velvet type of fabric. Red velvet fabric is always good to look at and this one is a collector's item. The next one is something I wore throughout 2020 and that is Velvet Muse which is a sensual smoky rosewood shade with the perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertones to make the shade super wearable across a wide variety of skin tones. And the last one was from her limited edition. This is the insanely saturated lip color in Sky Scraper Rose. Now this is not my favorite from the Lisa Eldridge range. This has got that little shine to it. Uh, it's not like that matte lipsticks like her velvets. So if I were you, I would just stick to the velvet lipsticks. But this is a beautiful color and if you want to wear comfortable lipsticks, then probably you could go for this. The last one is the Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss in Affair. Very similar to the Velvet Affair lipstick, the matte one. Now I chose Velvet Affair because I like that brown, that caramel, soft caramel brown undertones to it, very much similar to the Velvet Affair one. This is something that is a hybrid of a lip balm and a lip gloss. So if you want something that is extremely hydrating, that is going to give you a little bit of shine, but at the same time, a lot of color, then you can go for this. I know for a fact that this is one of her best-selling shade, as well as Cinnabar completely went out of stock. Okay guys, now it's time for dupes. Now I found a few lipsticks that match to certain Lisa Eldridge's bestsellers, okay? It's not the whole set, please keep that in mind. I think only two or three that I found closest to the shade so let's just start. First one is from her newest launch this is Velvet Blush Lightly. Like I said this is something that will suit fair all the way to a tan complexion. If you've got a deeper complexion then you can wear a good lip liner a very nice deep pink lip liner. This is a beautiful everyday shade. It's a muted pink shade. And the dupe that I found is from Daughter Earth. This is in the shade Gypsy Rose 01. This is so similar in its tones, in its color, that you cannot even make out that it's a dupe, okay? Because it just matches beautifully. When I took photographs with this, I was blown away by how similar it was. If you love blush lightly and affordability is an issue, then you can definitely go for the Daughter Earth one. Now, eerily similar to Velvet Muse, which was one of her bestsellers that's got that very nice rosewood, uh, muted rosewood undertone to it, is Just Herbs, and this is in the shade uh, Akshi number no. 12. Now, you've got to keep in mind that, like I said, these lipsticks from Just Herbs are also a little more matte than the velvet ones from Lisa Eldridge, okay? So it might look as if, you know, it's a little more deeper than the Lisa Eldridge one. Just the undertone of it, when you look closely, you might feel that there is a 
point just a point slight difference and that is only because texture wise this is a lot more matte and that has got a little more shine and creaminess to it so just so please keep that in mind but what a close enough dupe of velvet muse just herbs is then we have the bestseller velvet blush and very close to that is celery cocoa from daughter earth texture wise they're a lot different because daughter earth is matte and lisa eldridge is like a velvety matte it's got a little sheen to it like i've mentioned before and it's very similar in tones i would say that it's just again a point percent deeper i'm talking about velvet blushes slightly deeper from lisa eldridge but when it comes to tones and how it looks on the lips it's very very similar and this of all the lipsticks that I have is the closest match there's another one that comes slightly close to this and that is Diana but Diana is like a 0.1% lighter than the velvet blush I think in the undertone wise daughter earth stands a close chance and last but not the least the lipstick that actually launched a brand that's velvet ribbon the award-winning formulation award-winning color it's a very blue based kind of a red shade the closest i found was again from daughter earth i don't know if daughter earth people kind of like took lisa eldridge's lipstick into consideration because there's so many similarities and that is atomic red and it's very very close to velvet ribbon again i'm mentioning that these are dupes of the undertones and the color and not in formulations because nothing can match the formulations lisa's is so comfortable and it just such a creamy application you know it just applies like butter on the lips and with the daughter earth one there is a slight tug because of how matte it is so i really hope you enjoyed watching this in-depth video of lisa eldridge's lipsticks the dupes as well as a little bit of the foundation review do let me know if you're planning to pick it up from lisa eldridge's website she ships worldwide and i shall see you in my next and until later bye for now